if you've heard the expression, oh man, you're gonna blow a fuse, or, or you get so mad that you'll blow a fuse. Anybody ever heard that expression? So yeah. hot. You get hot, okay, so that's hot. it. What do you think? Anybody else think anything different? Too hot? Too, too, over too, too much electricity. Yeah. Too much electricity. Actually, it's not too much electricity, it's too much current, all right? Too much current. You remember when I showed you the one wire and we hooked it up to 120 volts and it, was com it came out of the dryer and it glowed a little bit. There was enough resistance for that wire. What happened to the notebook one? Did you see the notebook one? Real quick, right? That, that spiral, there was less resistance, too much current flowing through it. It overheated real quick and it burned it up. It opened up the element. So that's what these are. These are sacrificial, uh, sacrificial devices inside the circuit, okay? So if there's too much current flowing through it, this is the weakest link. All right, and all these fuses, they come in different styles and sizes. Some of them have a glass coating. Some have a cardboard or like paper coating. All right, it's thick paper though. It's real thick cardboard. Some have a ceramic coating or a fiberglass coating. Okay, and then to test a fuse, what you're gonna do is I got five fuses numbered here. You're gonna take one of these pages and I don't care if you use this meter or the stick meter. With the stick meter, remember, you just wanna set it on ohms. So this is how you check a fuse. You set it on ohms. You put one on one side, one on the other. And if the fuse is good, It'll be just like your when we're checking ground and stuff. Okay, so that fuse is usable. We can use that one, and they come in different ratings. Like this one here is a 250 volt that can handle up to 250 volts or less, and then the amperage on it is 100 amps. So that can take a lot more amps than this one here that was a 40 amp, 240 volts. So they come, and then they also put these little blades on them too. They can attach the blades and either becomes fixed like this one's a fixed blade or you can get these little adapters on it there like that that it can go on to snap in for the blade but if i was to test this one here let's take a look and see what's up with this fuse oh this is not usable so when i take a look at the fuse and we open it up all right oh i got a piece there and then look we got a mysterious white powder anthrax no i'm just kidding it's not anthrax that's just a silica all right it's just a device that's a non-flammable uh, non-conductive material that when this fuse melts this is our wink leak sometimes it melts violently and explodes so to keep it from exploding or catching on fire inside they put a non-conductive non-flammable powder around it could be baking powder sodium bicarbonate could be uh, this in this case this is just silica all right just like a silica material so that's inside the fuse and this is the wink leak that would uh, overcurrent it so I got one that's like a quarter amp can't tell if that one's good. That's like a five amp. You can tell inside here the different fuses, but you're gonna go through and you're gonna test all the fuses. The fuse that you're probably most common with if you've done any type of cars. automobile work for cars is like the blade type fuse. And when you're gonna use this meter to test the fuse, again, still set it on ohms. You can set it on an ohm rating or you can just set it on continuity. And then you'll just come up here and I'll just grab See if it, uh, with the little plastic pieces. You don't have it on sound. I don't have it on sound? Oh, okay. Let's put it on sound. Test the sound. Make sure the meter works. And then that fuse is good. All right. So that's how you check a fuse. So you will go through and you will either write usable or not usable on the assignment sheet here for inspecting the fuses. Okay? That's the next assignment. All right. I also got for you guys up here, uh, the, we're done. 